Hello and welcome to the cigar area. I'm Mike Simmons and back after a few days of rest and relaxation and just enjoying cigars but not reviewing them. So first day back uh, this is a new cigar for me, maybe not for you. The Victor Calvo Habano. This is the uh, 6x54 Bellicoso. Absolutely gorgeous Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. Very, very small, few veins, very tight seams. Beautiful Bellicoso tip on there. Uh, this is a Nicaraguan binder and Nicaraguan fillers in this. Uh, Victor Calvo, uh, the uh, distributor, Tambor distributor headquarters for these cigars is in uh, Opaloca, Florida. And uh, these are available online at Paladin Cigars. This was graciously uh, sent to me by Miguel, who is a uh, representative of the distributorship, and sent me actually uh, samples of each of their four different cigars for review here on the cigar area. Uh, the other cigars they have are the Maduro, uh, Connecticut, and a Gold along with the Habano. And there is a new one coming out soon called the Caliber. Uh, and I'll get to the different blends individually as I get to the cigars, but the Habano, once again, Habano wrapper. Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan, and uh, binder Nicaraguan fillers. So, without further ado, I've been dying to smoke these, and this is my first one. Uh, actually, I actually bought some of these from Paladin. And I just got them in, and I hadn't, I haven't even smoked any of them. And then I received this package from Miguel. So I'm going to uh, review some of the ones directly from the source, starting with a Habano, because I'm just in a Habano kind of mood tonight. As I said, this is a very beautiful cigar. Mm. Very rich, earthy. Taste on the first draw. Mm. Nice sweet spice on the retro hail. Mm. Kind of one of those spicy spices, not a not a peppery spice right off the bat. Mm. Very rich. Mm. 
very rich earthy base flavor nice spicy sweetness on the finish for the start off to a good start I'm liking the taste that has that nice tobacco core taste staying on my tongue right dead center a little bit of spice on the side love that earthy core tobacco flavor uh, haven't been getting that in a lot of cigars lately uh, a lot of leathery flavors uh, Earthiness, yes, but that tobacco core, that's a, that's a, uh, where you would think it would be a flavor that would be really common. It seems to be few and far between anymore. A rich, rich tobacco base that doesn't taste like leather, that doesn't taste like chocolate, that doesn't taste like cedar, it just tastes like good, rich tobacco. That's what we're starting off with here. So I'm going to work into the first third. I call it work. I'm going to enjoy the first third. Put it that way. And uh, be back in a, in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back with the Victor Calvo Habano. Uh, you can see I have a good, strong inch or more of beautiful light gray ash on there almost perfect burn going a little curvy but not no dips in it this is a tasty cigar uh, the core tobacco flavor an earthy core tobacco flavor that I love so much has continued on in in the first third as the primary flavor followed up by a nice sweet spice on the finish um, it's not it's not a baking spice like a cinnamon or nutmeg and it's not really a, uh, it's, it's sort of like a, a light black pepper but not not really it's I've said this before in some other times it reminds me of the spice when you get those spiced gumdrops I used to love those as a kid and that has that kind of a spite that sweetness and spice at the same time very very tasty uh, medium this is uh, marketed as medium to full body and it's living up to that already it's it's a medium it's a pretty potent medium It's got a nice, nice draw, not too easy, not too firm. Uh, no soft spots in this cigar that I could feel whatsoever. Um, very well rolled and it is very tasty. So I'm going to continue into the second portion here and see if uh, we get any changes see what develops be back in what will seem like no time all right back in the second third of the Victor Calvo Habano uh, I'm getting dangerously close to the wrapper here I wanted to show you uh, had a little weak spot in the uh, burn there but I haven't touched it up because it uh, I don't know, it seems to be self-correcting, but I'm going to take this band off this point before it burns. Um, had a definite, noticeable change in the flavor profile.
Very beautiful cigar band. Uh, it says Victor Calvo at the top. Premium cigars, Bono. There's the nice uh, ribbons and beautiful burgundy and gold colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous label. Uh, back to the flavors. Uh, my earthy tobacco core flavor has been replaced by a rich, creamy coffee flavor. Once again, very distinct. Very, it's just just rich and creamy. It's, it's very nice. Same sweet spice on the finish. So we went from earthy tobacco core with a sweet spicy finish to a creamy coffee sweet spicy finish still medium to full it's uh it it wants to tell you it's a medium but it's got some potency to it it's got a little kick to it uh not not too bad not not to scare away a medium smoker uh Actually, someone who likes mild cigars would probably even like this because it's 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 so rich and has that nice sweetness to it that uh, it, it's very you almost don't notice how potent it is. Um, I wouldn't recommend a mild cigar smoker to smoke this on an empty stomach though because I have a feeling it would creep up on you. Um, but I am very pleased so far. I'm not going to touch that burn because it, the, the uh, wrapper seems to be burning itself there. I think a couple more puffs and it'll be, it'll be fine. Uh, probably just a little air pocket under there that I didn't feel because of the, it was close to the band. At um, any rate, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. I'm going to keep on going into the final third. See if we get any more changes. But uh, so far it's got nice balance, good complexity, good noticeable flavors. Very happy so far. Be back shortly. All right, back in the final third of the Victor Calvo Habano Bellicoso size. Got a good inch and a half of ash on there. Just wanted to show that to you. Uh, I'm going to tap it off because it's going to fall. A uh, little weak spot in the burn disappeared. Got a little curvy there, but didn't require a touch up. <clears throat> Man, what a good cigar. Uh, that coffee, rich coffee, creamy flavor has continued. A little bit of the cream tapered off. And the spice uh, mellowed a bit in the final third. But now as I'm getting more toward the end, the spice has picked up like tw twice as much as it was before in the earlier parts of the cigar. So it went from... We started with a nice earthy tobacco core and a sweet spice on the finish. Second portion we switched over to a creamy coffee with the sweet spice on the finish. Then in the final third, the coffee continued a little less creamy, a little stronger. Uh, and the spice diminished a bit, although the sweetness remained. There was still a sweetness to it, kind of like a molasses, dark, uh, dark kind of sweetness to it. But now, in the last couple puffs, the spice is just, bam, kicked back in big time. Very nice <clears throat> complexity there. Yash, as a rule, held on for... About an inch and a quarter or more. Uh, 
first piece fell off at about an inch and just about an inch and a half uh, and you can see that second piece was pretty long there actually that was the third piece and another one in the middle but uh man this is a good tasting cigar uh medium to full it's uh kicked up a notch in strength as well it's it's at that upper end of that medium full the lower end of the full range right now uh so it did get a little more potent as we went along even though the flavors mellowed here and there the the body the strength and the body both increased toward the end very nice i'm seriously impressed with this and then one of the nice things is if you go on uh, paladin cigars paladincigars.com you can get these uh, they have most of the sizes and the different varieties on there and they range anywhere from 550 to six six ninety six dollars ninety cents for and that's for the grand Toro, I believe, uh, which is a six, no, I'm sorry, the uh, Magnum, six by 60. That's the most expensive one on there, six dollars and ninety cents. Uh, most of them are about six twenty. Lancero's five and a half. Whew. That's a bargain for a cigar that's good. I've really been into these, uh, I don't know if you call them boutique cigars, I mean they're, they're uh, smaller brands and they're just made with excellent tobacco and expert rolling. Um, I just can't say enough about this, I can't wait to try the others. Um, like I said, I bought some of these from Paladin. Uh, that I didn't smoke yet. This was one that Miguel from uh, Victor Cal Calvo sent to me. And I want to thank you again, Miguel, for this. And uh, I really cannot wait to try the others. And I'm going to review uh, all four of the varieties uh, on here on YouTube and on my website. You'll find the reviews. <clears throat> There's a Connecticut, a Maduro, and the Gold. And like I said, I'll get into the blends as I do on each one individually, but they're all different. Uh, so, summing, all, summing it all up, this is definitely a 10 out of 10 on my scale. Excellent array of flavors. Nice complexity, nice changes great construction, good burn, ash holds on for a long time, nice easy draw, uh, cigar had some weight to it, it's very well made, very well packed, and it's at a price point that is affordable for a premium cigar, it's uh, under seven bucks, you know, you can go into a brick and mortar and buy a, you know, a a name, you know, a big name brand cigar for about seven bucks. Um, f for my money, to find something like this that tastes this good and has this kind of quality, would I buy this again? Most definitely. Already did. And will I buy more when I run out? <laughs> Most definitely. This is a damn good cigar. So, I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm Mike Simmons, and this is the Cigar Area with the Victor Calvo Habano. And uh, please check out my other videos on YouTube and come to my website, thecigarareria.com. Enter the contest. Uh, I have two contests going right now. One for a pair of... Uh, uh, Man of War coffee mugs, and the other is uh, for a 
very cool skull ring. So come on and check it out, enter the contest. And until next time, be like me, happy smoking.